Red Prison. For those that are not familiar, Red Prison is trying to get Blood Moon out. Beautiful Blood Moon. Bridge out. Beautiful artifact. And Chalice of the Void. What we're trying to do and trying to prevent is my opponent from playing magic. We do this by utilizing utility creatures such as Bone Crusher Giant and Season Pyromancer at this point during our many iterations of Blood Moon Red Prison decks. The main win conditions are Chandra Torch of Defiance for that damage though, and Karn the Great Creator in order to lock your opponents out further with artifacts in the board. Your artifact choices in the board are Ensnaring Bridge, Torp Orbs, Liquid Metal Coating, which works really well against lands, Damping Spears, Pithy Needles, and Tormod's Crypts. We have a Dark Steel Citadel in here because people have talked back and forth about having this, so you can use that with Karn. We're gonna give it a shot here. And in general, I think I'm pretty happy with what this list is starting to look like. So with that, let's hit up the league. Let's play some Red Prism. Just got done with the rock. Did well. Did well. All right, Red Prism though. Let's lock some people out. Turn one, turn two, Blood Moons. Let's go. Don't see a chiropractor, see a real physician, like a physical therapist. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. <laughs> Turn to Magus. Welcome home. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We're gonna blaze this league. Ah, look at our first opponent. It's destiny. Absolute destiny. This will be a turn three lockout probably. Feels so right. Wait, Mind Stone. Mind Stone. All right, maybe we won't quite get there. Oh, gosh. Give them the possibility of Tron, but use Karn to lock out the Mind Stone so we avoid Thought Knots here. Or Blood Moon them with the Magus of the Moon and run into Thought Knots here. They have to take Karn or Chandra. Ooh, ooh, it's not easy. Anybody telling you that Red Prison is just play Blood Moon and finish. Mm, I think I wanna play this Karn and I, I can't tell you why, other than if they slip up for an exactly one turn, I think we can get them. I'm gonna go with the Karn, even though Blood Moon, Magus is definitely calling my name. We're gonna go get a liquid metal coating on the off chance they have a Drazi temple and are able to take something. In that case, I will then have at least liquid metal coating being ditched or this Magus and not bridge. Blood Moon, the Tron deck. We're gonna Karn the Tron deck first. It's like a stone rain. I'm so sorry, Fluffy. I was watching your stream. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> Get blood mooned. <laughs> oh, okay, wasabi. All right, down we go. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Liquid Metal Coating, not changing the course here. Let's see what they got. Tron? Just Tron me, natural Tron. Give me the hug. Give me the hug I deserve. Pausing. Fear. Fear sets in. What do they have? Maze Mind Tome. I'm not sure there's any other play than just Chandra. Whoops. Chandra and Liquid Metal Coating here with the Karn out. Not sure there's any other play. Who needs Blood Moon? No one needs Blood Moon. All right. 
Uh, this matchup, we can bring in an Abrade, and that's about all I care to have here. We can take out one Bone Crusher and submit. There's not much changing here. Not a lot will change with the list because we have Karn the Great Creator. There's a few cases where you'll bring Pithy Needle or Spyglass, depending on your flavor, because you have to stop, say, an Aether Vial or other artifacts that your Karn can, can stop. Boy will obviously come in for those blue matchups, and if you have to be more aggressive, your Rabble Masters come in instead of something like your Maguses sometimes. Chalice is pretty bad, possibly, but there's really nothing else I want here. You won't want to bring Rabble Master in against Eldrazi Tron. In fact, Eldrazi Tron is one of our worst matchups. All right, we'll keep this because I have Bridge. Bridge is decent against them. We'll just hope they don't have a turn two Thought Knots here. Got to hope for it. It went down to six. It's a power plant and a map. Simeon Spirit Guide off the top would be sweet. All right. Well, we didn't, but we, we found the Blood Moon. We found the Blood Moon. Tech Edge. Dang. I can do literally anything I want here. How do we know this was Eldrazi? We saw Mindstone. Um, This goes and gets a Eldrazi Temple, which is awful. We wanted to go get a Waste here, so we'll Desperate Ritual Blood Moon here. The Chandra is tempting, but this needs to go get a waste and set them back one turn here. So they go get the waste. We can beat a singleton waste. So Blood Moon, we have Chandra as an option, but we're probably playing Bridge unless I find another ritual spell. There's a walking ballista. That can get killed. You know what? Changed my mind because of the Walking Ballista. Pyretic Ritual out the Chandra here and uptick on the Eberade. Gets rid of the Walking Ballista. And keeps Chandra pretty healthy in order to get rid of a Thought Knot Seer. The fact that I have a Seasoned Pyromancer should give me a plenty of chump blockers for a little bit. So they'll need Thought Knot Seer right here, right now. Or they're probably close to getting locked out. We'll be looking for Karn the Great Creator to finish this game out. We'll see if we get there. Uh-oh. They missed. Well, this is cute. One, two, three. Bridge. One, two, three. Season Pyromancer. Season Pyromancer and Bridge are a little bit of a non bow because sometimes you draw too many cards. And things can get a little bit awkward. But in this case against Tron, it shouldn't be a problem. I think our opponent is very unfortunate with where they're at. A lot of people will be telling me you should have attacked first. We're getting the Chandra up to seven. We're going to kill him that way. This game's almost done. Almost done. All right. Combat first. Let's do things correct. We missed two points of damage. Not so worried. Going to dismember Magus. Oof. We're not going to float the mana because this is two, two that could happen next turn. Simeon Spirit Guide, we're going to go with no and pass turn. Ambush Viper. All right, Expedition Map. I'll take any ritual effect. <laughs> They stumbled on lands just a little too much here. They weren't able to get the Eldrazi Temple that they wanted off their first map, and that set them back. Poor Mana Monkey, not hardcasted. Didn't deserve it. Emblem. Combat. Here, we'll cast Mana Monkey. We'll cast the Mana Monkey. Five damage with the Emblem up and Desperate Ritual to finish this off. Emblem number two, getting it done because Blood Moon is pretty good against 
Eldrazi. He killed the monkey! We forgave him for watching our stream and then realizing they were playing against us, but then they just killed the monkey. One oh. One oh start. <laughs> it's not gonna get any better than that. That was a fast match. It was indeed. It was a good match too for us. Wasabi's probably gonna come back into the channel and be like, ow, that hurt. Let's play first. Wasabi's here. Alright, we'll keep this hand. Welcome, Wasabi. What's up? Might have been the first time you've seen Chandra Alt. If you want to see more Chandra's Alts, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. It's something we do at a reasonable amount of times. My tail hurts. Wasabi, you got kind of slapped hard. We're playing seven moons as well. Not to mention three Karns. Etron's a difficult matchup, but with our configuration, it gets a little bit better. All right, the scrub and scrubs. What is this? Comedic genius treasure. Oh, our opponent lost connection. Oh, they joined. Okay. I'm guessing in game two, Wookie, you had something that you needed the Eldrazi Temple for, like a Thought Knot Seer. There we go. All right, land go. Maybe there'll be a graveyard deck. We'll have the Scavenger Grounds. Got them. I just needed lands. Fair enough. All right, show me humans here. Cavern of Souls. I'll take humans. The Anger of the Gods in the main hand here. What are you gonna name? What you gonna name? What you gonna name? T -t 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 -t. Elemental. All right. Seems decent. For sure. Nice ritual. Moving that Chandra up because rituals. Damage. Go ahead, opponent. Good luck. Passing over a Simeon Spirit Guide. Opponent taking their time. Well, we got a turn two Chandra. Good luck to them. We'll see if these elementals can beat our turn two Chandra. Gonna wait on this. Wrath effect. Turn to Chandra, exactly. What's up, Vindicate? Thank you for the follow. Iceman, you ready for another emblem? We'll try. We'll try real hard. <laughs> Fiery Islet. No actions. Go up here, see what else we hit. Answer's nothing, we'll bridge them, pass turn. Good luck. You believe? We're close. Does it count if my opponent concedes first? We're a little bit awkward, we don't have double red. Is it also your first Chandra Emblem? Wow. All right, there's a Risen Reef. Looks like I'm going to have to protect Chandra here. Land. Uptick. Ritual. Anger. Go ahead, opponent. We go ahead and clear everything here. We're all in on Chandra. Again, a little bit awkward that I only have one mountain here. We'll see what my opponent can do here with a bridge protecting our Chandra. Nothing with haste can get in here either. There is a haste guy. Opponent's using Sunbake Canyon, looking for answers. 
really tempted to just emblem here and just trust that the library is going to find enough. We'll see though. Flamekin. What are we, what are we going to reveal? Probably something like Ingot Chewer that gets rid of Bridge. I don't know if they do. Sometimes they'll have like an Ingot Chewer for this bridge. I'd love to go one more time up with Chandra. I don't think I'm going to get that luxury. I think I just got to trust that the top of the library is going to be a few spells that I'll be able to cast. We'll see. They might also decide whether or not they can beat a Chandra Emblem here, and they may concede for us. We will see. So I know it was no emblem, but it would draw. Heh, <laughs> that's an easy emblem. You emblem because you get all your red mana. Five upstairs, following turn. Okay, take another turn. And there you go. In five turns, we'd have him killed. So no emblem created, but we were there with that emblem. I, trust me, trust me. All right, so Torporb is going to be left in the sideboard here. This matchup, we're going to get rid of probably a Chalice or two. We might even get rid of one Season Pyromancer here. Let's go ahead and bring this Anger in as well. Let's do... Let's do one more Season Pyromancer. All right, so the reason we're taking Season Pyromancers out is it doesn't work very well with Bridge. We have the Torp Orb in the sideboard. We're bringing Pithy Needle in because the only thing I care about is Aether Vial. So that gives me the fourth way to interact with an Aether Vial. Chalice is a way to just dump the hand so I don't get rid of it completely. And I don't get rid of Season Pyromancer completely because it's not a bad thing to have. It just will Nombo some with our Torp Orb. I don't have much else to bring in in this matchup. And I do want to leave things in the sideboard to collect with Karn. So that's why we're doing a little bit of a split there. Also throwing a random chalice into the sideboard is super nice because Karn can go get it. Yeah, so a lot of the argument is, well, they play caverns and this is frustrating and da 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 da. I would tell you this. <clears throat> One, keep hands with Magus. Two, I would tell you that sometimes it's good to have it for an Aether Vial. So just something to keep in mind. Um, this is a turn two... Blood Moon, so we'll do that. We have a turn one that Bone Crusher. The deck that my opponent does play does play some semblances of um, red cards, so Magus won't be a total off. Not to mention that Anger of the Gods will kind of unfortunately not work very well with our Magus, but hey, we're playing seven moons and some of them are creatures. Reflecting Pool in a Cavern. Phyrexian Revoker. Don't worry about naming anything. This is gone here. Goodbye. I will kill this. <laughs> this is going to name one of my Planeswalkers, and I do want to be able to use them. Mana efficiency here. By the way, Chalice on 1 will now be really good against my opponent, because their cavern will be a mountain. All right, opponent. Bam, get blasted. Goodbye. I will play... Well, I was going to say I'd play a Blood Moon over Magus, but Magus might be a little bit better. They do have some ways to get rid of enchantments sometimes. All right, we'll see what this does with Bone Crusher Giants and Maguses. We'll see if we can go the distance. In for two. Go ahead, opponent. We'll be hitting for six next turn and a lot more the following turn. F16 through the turn as my opponent only has mountains. So this hits for six. Do another two here. Play this out. This is where you'll see that like Rabble Master doesn't really matter. Bone Crusher Giant being able to just kind of do what Rabble Master would be able to do in two turns, three turns. What's up, Land Shutter? 
We are presenting lethal here on turn five, my opponent's turn five. We get blown out by an anger of the gods, but being a, they are a creature deck, I don't think they would be running it. <clears throat> they do play a bolt, this is pretty good. Unblockable for three, what? Why are they unblockable? Phantasmal image, okay, all right, okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and attack here and pass turn. We'll do four. This will put them to six. We do have Ramionot and a Scavenger Grounds here. So we have four damage held up in lands. Well, they passed their turn. I don't think that was uh, supposed to happen. They have two lands that hurt them as well, plus this Bone Crusher Giant, and targeting the Bone Crusher Giant is another two. Even if they're able to play a blocker there, we draw an Anger, which isn't what we play. Scavenger Grounds into play. Ramionot. Sacrifice Scavenger, that's two, puts them to four. This is lethal, they block. This is then two more damage. They have these that they can't use. Drawing a few things, and probably closing that one out. <clears throat> two down, three to go. Red Prison, getting in with the damages against the opponents with the lands that matter. We have a Corona lock down here. No more two mans on the street. <laughs> what? I don't think I follow. Fluffy spreading out his wings. Dr. T. Sanchez, what's up? How's it going? All right, next match. Let's roll it. I get to play first, absolutely. Starting seven, R. Mmm, it's close. It's close. I don't like a one lander though. One landers we can't really keep. We talk about this quite a bit and every now and then I bait myself into going and, going and keeping them. In this case, because I'm on the play, we're gonna play a mountain. My opponent's probably gonna Inquisition or Thoughtseize. And unless I top deck that, it's just gonna be a bad game. So we'll go ahead and mulligan this. This hand though, this hand's kind of cool. So here I can probably safely get rid of an Anger of the Gods. I could then turn to Karn, the greatest of creators. I think we'll keep. Play a Ramionot down, make sure my opponent doesn't have a clue what we're doing. And we'll see if we can do a little bit of a turn to Karn. Now Lurus could be a burn or something with Lightning Bolt. We'll just have to see if we think that's something they'll be playing. Well, Basic Planes is definitely not in that direction. So Garda's Aid is definitely okay to see here. We should be pretty good. Hammer Time is completely fine with us. All right, let's go get our liquid metal coating here. I could get bridge. I think I do, do just liquid metal coating though. Make things really messed up for them. Bone Crusher Giant's gonna be super nice here. We may even delay a little bit with the liquid metal coating. Depends if they have another one uh, land. If they don't, I don't know, it's tough to say. Ooh, Ink Moth, all right. Stoneforge. All right. Can you equip the hammer if it's a creature? Uh. So, um, let's think here. Uh, I probably have to leave Bone Crusher Giant up. Hmm. Because I can play Bridge, but Bridge doesn't really matter with an Infect creature. 
kill it now? Well, so there's a bit of a problem with that, right? If I kill it, they're gonna kill Karn and then I have a random liquid metal coating that doesn't do anything against a Stoneforge Mystic that's gonna be a 10-10. I think I have to hope that they don't have a protection spell here. We'll go up with Karn the Great Creator here. We're in, yeah, we're in a bit of a weird spot because if they have a land, they might go with it with the Ink Moth. But if they don't, they go with Stoneforge and we just have to hope they don't have like Apostle's Blessing. Because right now this Bone Crusher Giant really isn't going to kill a whole lot. I like leaving up some interaction though. All right, so Marsh Flats, they might go for the whole kill here, which is fine. I think they should. They are a bit of an all-in deck. That's what they try to do. We're still in a bit of a weird spot here because if they have a second Colossus Hammer, they do this with Ink Moth, I kill it. The following turn, they can just put the next Colossal Hammer on the Stoneforge Mystic. Because I'll probably spend the turn getting a Liquid Metal Coating down and killing the Ink Moth so it doesn't kill me the following. Well, no, because Bone Crusher I would kill. Man, I don't know. We'll see what they do. Let's just hope they don't have Double Hammer here. If they have Double Hammer, we lose. You haven't seen the list run Apostle's Blessing? They attack Karn. Hammer time, number one. I will obviously attempt right now to kill this. And we'll just hope they don't have a protection spell. If they have another Colossus Hammer, it's rough. Nice. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Dead Stoneforge. Get killed. <laughs> All right. Steel Shaper's Gift. I'm gonna top in anger. It'll be a sad day. Sad day. All right, one, two, liquid metal coating here. On the ink moth. Cool, that works. He could have had the played the gift before and had two hammers. Yeah. Well, he should have done that and then just double hammered in. Double hammering in would kill me. Not attack Karn either. All right, three mana Luris goes to hand here. Hmm. Time to go get bridge now. I could also go to Tormod's Crypt, but I don't I don't care about the graveyard right now. There's nothing that that Luris is going to do to me. They can swing with an O2, you are correct. We do have to finish this game somehow. Let's go ahead and kill another land here instead of getting bridge. One, two, three. Let's do one, two, three. I'm gonna play the Season Pyromancer without playing the Gemstone here. There we go, hit a land. Cool. All right, go ahead, opponent. Oh yeah, we gotta be afraid of a an Ornithopter, sometimes Signal Pest based on some other people, what they have. There's Luris. All right. So down tick here, go get bridge. One, two, three, play bridge. I wonder if there's a reason to use the Scavenger Grounds versus playing the Blood Moon here. Uh, Blood Moon's one of the latest, uh, 
what was it, double masters or whatever? I'm just going to play the Blood Moon. I'm going to stop on my opponent's upkeep here. Keep their mana a little bit locked down. I think we just win from here. I can go get a Walking Ballista, and Walking Ballista can be a way to defend against the O2 Ornithopter. I'm not sure if they can beat this bridge. At least game one. By the way, Chalice on one is exceptional against this list. Stoneforge from the yard, off the Lurs. Giver. Giver's a little frustrating. Steel Shaper's Gift. Another Colossus Hammer. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and go down and get a Walking Ballista now. Play this on three. All right. So my opponent's looking for that Ornithopter at some point. They've got the Giver of Runes just to protect it in case I am able to somehow get rid of it with, say, an Abrade or something else like that. And yeah, so Walking Ballista seals this up because we're able to just start picking things off. So Abrades are going to come in here. I like the Anger as well. I don't like Season Pyromancer at all in this matchup. Um, I think I'm going to bring a Pithy Needle in. I don't like it, but it's cheap. And I kind of want to leave everything else as options. I could bring a Damping Sphere in, but that kind of hinders me. What I really need to be able to do is Chalice on one really rapidly here and then find myself a bridge, probably. Opponent's playing a lot of one drops. All right, what can we do with this hand? Blood Moon's not the greatest, but we'll go ahead and keep. Blood Moon does keep them off of a Ink Moth Nexus kill, which could be important. They'll go get basics. That's all they have. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Wow, Thoughtsies. I guess they've evolved from Mono White. All right, well then. No more Mono White. Now they're going to be upset to see Blood Moon, especially if this is like one of their few lands. I've seen versions run about 17, 18 lands. So we'll see what they think about our Blood Moon. A Mem Knight here. All right. Sweet top deck. Splashing Black for interaction. Stoneforge Mystic here. Okay. It's the hammer. Tax me for one. I think I want to play Blood Moon next. Gosh, I can like play everything. Um, gonna hold up my Bone Crusher Giant this turn. That way I have removal in case they have land, Sigarda's aid, Colossus, Colossus hammer. I think it doesn't really matter though. There's an Ink Moth. me for a little bit of damage here. I'm going to put the hammer on my head. New stone forge mystic. Things are getting real sketchy. Another hammer. Cranial plating. In this case... Hang tight here. I've got an idea. It's not a good one.
do it this way. We Desperate Ritual and we play Blood Moon down here. That'll stop Ink Moth Kill. Also takes them off black. And now we have Bone Crusher Giant Hidden. This makes it look like I've kind of... Maybe, maybe I'm, you know... I don't know. I don't know what this means. Ornithopter. Uh-oh. Probably need to kill Ornithopter now. Cranial Plating. Hooks it up on a 4-2. I need to kill Ornithopter probably of all things here. I'm gonna take this damage. Looking kind of sketchy here, but we're gonna go ahead and kill Ornithopter. That is something that gets under our bridge. Take our turn. Definitely gonna probably play our own bridge. That being said, I could put a Chalice down. Chalice on zero for future Ornithopters and a bridge on th three. That seems okay. Be great to put Chalice on something different, but this protects from a future Ornithopter. They can attack for a little bit here. Sigarda's aid and then also getting in with the hammer is something they could do. It's asking a lot though, because they'll need to draw it and they didn't play it last turn. Springleaf Drum fixes mana. Couldn't give them black to bounce the cranial plating around. Anguished Unmaking is their choice here to get rid of Bridge. Nice. Down to six we go. So we have a Colossal Hammer to beat. We'll play Magus. Go ahead, opponent. Dang, Anguish on making, huh? It's going to be a tough one to get Chalice up to if we were to ever get there. And three is a very interesting color. Springleaf Drum can be stopped by Chalice on one, so let's keep that in mind. Anguish on making is white and black. Steel Sapers to get a Shadow Spear, Shadow Spear to attach. And with the Trample here, it looks like my opponent's got us. Dang. All right, so Chalice on one would have been a whole heck of a lot better. We were trying to empty our hand. Six, five, four, one, two. Seven, six, five, and this. Nice. All right, so we got to beat them at their own game here. All right. Go back. Let's play first. Could I have had a second land here? Would have been nice. Probably have to mulligan this. One lander, not very good here. I like the Pithy Needle and the Chalice. Pithy Needle could stop a Ink Moth, but I, I've got better ways to do that. One lander with three anger the gods, that's a no-go. And it's not even a red land. Now this. Now this. This I can get behind. Alright, keep. What am I ditching here? Gemstone and pyretic here. Cool. Put Pithy Needle down, naming um, Ink Moth Nexus, and then hope to get the Chalice on one. Let's see where this hand goes. This is a this is one heck of a hand. Not three and a half hours late? You're not. You're not. All right, Pithy Needle. Ink Moth Nexus. 
Even though I have the Blood Moon, I like I still like the Ink Moth Nexus name here. Yeah, Thoughtseize is dangerous. I respect that it's dangerous. All right, we'll put a Chalice on one now. Okay, setting things up. We got the Blood Moon looking good. <laughs> Stoneford Mystic is still a problem. Just gonna have to deal with it. Stoneforge. Okay, what do we go get? Countered. Cranial Plating is their choice. Mem Knight. Okay. Getting things done. Blood Moon. So Anguished Unmaking is taken care of now. All right. <laughs> Need a bridge or something, right? Plays cranial plating and hooks it up, probably. 3 2 and a 1 1, so they hit for 4. We are looking for Anger of the Gods, a Braids, Bridges. Karn's not bad. Karn, just go get the bridge. Sacrifice the Karn here. Seems decent. Seems like a potential lock here. Springleaf Drum's taken care of. We have to find a way to get rid of Ornithopters in the future. Throwing Stoneforge and one at me. Down to 15. Okay. Bonus bridge isn't bad. That prevents a random spot removal. Looking for chalice to put on zero. New stone forge. The needle is kind of useless now, unless they get like a disenchant. Disenchants blood moon. <clears throat> Puts down the ink moth, tries to kill me. All right, bridge number two. <laughs> Let's see what they want to do here when they go to combat. Chalice on three is better. At this point, it would be fine. I have blood moons and bridges down. We got them all down. We saw the anguish to make him. Get Simeon. Get Simeon in combat stick. Next up. That'll do. I think I'm cool with blowing up the world here. I think I'm good with that. Cool. All right. World has been extinguished. Like I said, I need a chalice on zero. New stone forge. Colossal hammer. I wonder if they have the main deck uh, basic swamp. Uh, if he has a basic swamp, he could definitely win this. All right, so there's Chalice on zero. That was next step. Next step will be Chalice on two, and the final step will be Chalice on three. Putting it on zero to avoid Ornithopters. Stoneforge, putting something into play here. Shadow Spear. Makes sense. Got to get it around that chalice somehow. Ram you not go. Trying to think what else they could have. I'm thinking Disenchant. And that's the only thing I can think of that gets them out of this at this point. Anguished on making will if they have a basic swamp somewhere as well. Attaches with Stoneforge. Buckle up, everyone. It's going to be a little bit of a game here. Magus, go. Mm. 
Magus, go. They're just passing the turn. Back and forth we go. No, bunny. No. Goodbye, bunny. You can't control me. Cleanup step. Opponent moving to discard. Looking for a win condition or more lock pieces? That's neither. Just going to cast it. Take care, bunny. Have a good one. F6 button is our friend here. Opponents at 12 minutes, we're at 16. Plenty of time. <laughs> Bye, nerds. <laughs> Eventually, I do have Chandra. My opponent does concede, though, out of frustration. New anger coming in a little bit. It was going to be a little while, though. Pair of chalices as well. We put a chalice on two. And then the following chalice we probably put on three, and that would be a hard lock probably for our opponent. There you go. 3-0. Let's march on. Dunk on a bunny. <laughs> we would get there. We would get there. The, the whole point... So I played this in a PTQ. We got to a point where I was against a black-white opponent, and I was red. And we literally got to the point where we had about five minutes in the round. And I said, I have like one more piece that I need to lock you out. And like, I have two cards. We played 27 to 33 turns in that five minutes because my opponent was a good sport about it and didn't think about it every time and we'll go for the draw. My opponent ended up winning, but that's not the point. The point was we could play fast magic and just have a good time chatting. I was the best player at that PTQ as well. So this is a legit deck. It's always been a legit deck. We've been playing it since 2018. To give you an idea, we've been streaming for almost three straight years. This is one of our primary decks, and I haven't had to put any money into Magic Online in forever. Does that mean you're going to have the same success? Absolutely not. In fact, every time I try to play a different deck, I lose terribly. So, caution. Don't just immediately go get this. But it is fun, and it does do some stuff. All right, we're going to keep this. Four lands. Okay, nothing super fast here. Chalice is reasonably decent in the meta, though, so let's go ahead and see if we can get Chalice on one and impact our opponent. Talk. Fluffy is talking in the third person. I will do that from time to time. Noble Hierarch for our opponent could be anything. Could be anything. Quit BSing. I net deck this for sure. Yep. Caught me. He caught me. Net deck all the way. Net deck all the way. Even called out at my FNM. Opponent pulled up Magic Goldfish, was like, Psh, you net decker, and showed me. Fluffy Wolf 250. That's right. I was like, yep. And then I said, that's me. That can't be you. Then I logged into Twitch, and they're like, That's you. I'm like, yeah, so I didn't net deck. Mantis Rider, huh. By the way, this named humans, your spirit's call is it's a miss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We do have a decent game against humans, but we do need to find our anger of the gods that are main decked. Let's uh let's go digging for them. Season Pyromancer, dig dig dig. Gotta find some interaction. We're gonna get rid of uh, I don't know. Ramming Out Ruins could be fun in the later games. All right. Bone Crusher Giant plus Chandra here. At least I can kill some of these creatures. That'll be good for us. See if we get lucky here. Technically still a net deck. Just because it may be your deck doesn't mean the deck isn't on the interwebs. Does Grace have any timeouts yet? See if I would ruin his his zero timeouts, bans, and mod comments. Cavern. Ow. Well, that would make Mantis Rider hit for a lot. This is bad. Oh, don't 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 meddly mage me. Name bridge. You invented the computer? Name's Blood Moon, that's fair. 
All right, attacks for five here. Ow, that hurt. All right, looks like Chandra down tick is our only play here. Short of an anger, the gods off the top. That's awkward. That's a bit awkward. Anyway, Chandra down tick here. Get rid of this Mantis Rider. We need to defend our face like crazy. Go ahead, opponent. Moon's a bad call, you think? Eh. They saw the top. They peaked. They peaked. They like, I see that blood moon. We can't cast that now. Horizon canopy can tripped here. Opponent's got plenty of mana. We're looking for one of those anger the gods in the main deck. We have three. Bone Crusher Giant's not bad. It can get rid of this meddling mage. Double horizon canopy here. Checking in. Tax Chandra. Hmm. I think this is worth saving. We'll save her. Chandra saved. Show me that anger of the gods. No anger of the gods. I'm gonna go up for mana here and create some tokens with Season Pyromancer. I have a Bone Crusher Giant in hand. That's gonna get rid of Metally Mage this next turn. We're gonna just stave off anything my opponent's doing in the hopes that at some point we will find our anger. Yeah, Waterburger map. Champion. It's pretty good. Pretty good through that chalice. May have to kill that now. That thing can grow. Wonder how much I care about meddling mage here. Ooh, Thalia. Alright, I must do something now. It's probably just kill meddling mage here, even though Thalia is gonna grow champion. <clears throat> this kill is super nice because then we have two tokens to defend with. This won't grow probably too high because of the chalice here, and I have maybe two looks at an anger of the gods. Fingers crossed for what's off the top. Waterlog Grove, Cantrip. All right, Simeon Spirit Guide, Bone Crusher. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. I don't mind that. This puts us up to three, and that can kill Champion in the future. Get a new blocker here as well. The other options go up and look one more deep, but I think we're risking a lot by doing that. So let's get Blood Moon down. And let's play a Bone Crusher Giant here. Luckily we have plenty of mana here. Got some good blockers. <clears throat> the other thing that could happen here is if they don't grow these too crazy, could Chandra down tick noble play Chandra down tick noble and try to defend with creatures? I don't like that line as much, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Coming in here with champion, I don't like this at all by my opponent. I would come in with Thalia. But we'll block and trade, happy to do so. They went to end, oh my gosh, I ripped an anger. This opponent's done. They're done. Rip the anger. Oh, what a rip. Oh, bridge coming too. Get out of here. All right, a braid in, anger the gods in, walking ballista in. Out, season pyromancers possibly. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Where's my pithy needle? There it is. All right, we want all of this. Want all this, we have the chalice we could take out. But I like getting chalice down early, even if it's zero. Season Pyromancer just gets really weird. It worked out well there, but it's just not typically what we want. So let's do that. So Season Pyromancer's out because drawing two and getting it bounced to our hand means that things are three. And if the things are at three, a lot of things can attack in the humans matchup. <clears throat> One thing I don't like about our list is we don't have diversified three mana drops here, but we'll see if that truly matters. 
Um, dang. I want to do turn one Karn so bad and right into their chalice. But I also understand that Chandra is probably slightly better here. I'm gonna keep gemstone in. Let's do a Karn out. I want this Karn so bad. And you're just saying just ignore the Bone Crusher Giant here. Bone Crusher is so good to just remove something. So the idea here is I could remove this. All right, fine. We'll exile Bone Crusher Giant. We'll go for Chandra into Karn. It's a pretty busted little play here. There's the Aether Vial. So this is like, I could just slam Karn here. Gosh, I want to so bad. We'll be okay. <laughs> I want a Karn so bad. We know that they could have a Thalia here, so we'll go ahead and put, oops. Shoot. <laughs> Who needs to uptick their Chandra? F6 is a better key to hit anyway. Oops. <laughs> F6 all night long. Yeah. All right. We're in an okay spot. Chandra's five isn't going to probably matter. Yeah, I'm not afraid of Athalia here, luckily. Just kind of afraid of the next card after Thalia. There's a meddling mage. Just kidding. Vile something on one champion. Follows this up with Thalia's lieutenant. Nope, meddling mage. Names bridge or blood moon or anger here. Can almost guarantee that. Names a braid. Okay. Ooh, masterpiece vile. Nice. I, I could down tick a Chandra. I very well could. If I down tick a Chandra, then I can kill like champion here. The other thing I could do is go get Bridge with Karn. Uh, Ballista's in the deck. We move Ballista into the deck to deal with Thalia. What if I down tick with Chandra here and then get Karn into play and down tick go get Bridge? Let's do that. We'll hope they don't have a phantasmal image to copy the metally mage. We'll also hope they don't have land plus mantis rider. If we can avoid a few of these things, I think this Karn locks them out the rest of the way. We'll down tick for that bridge. Killing Chandra and playing Thalia would be a little bit of a problem. But we have a Karn where we can put down tick Karn and then go get uh, the Dark Steel Citadel, which is something that, you know, doesn't always happen. Torp Orb is one of the lock pieces we do want as well. We're getting there. 
We gotta assemble things slowly here. We don't have a lot of time. There's a noble hierarch, so they can now kill Karn. They choose to kill Karn here because that unlocks their Aether Vial. Okay. New Chandra. One, two, three, four. Gonna play New Chandra here. Keep New Chandra. We're lucky they didn't have Thalia right here. And Bridge. All right. Deputy of Detention's a problem. Need to find another Karn so I can go get a Torp Orb. Aether Vial on two, coming down, Phantasmal Image, Meddling Mage. Nope. Copies Noble Hierarch. All right. Record's 3-0. Record is 3-0. -oh. They would have vialed in a lot earlier. Can he kill me with Hierarchs? Yes, but I have I have ways to kill Hierarch. There's new Thalia. He can get under the bridge with one noble here and attack for two. Setting Chandra down to three. Top of the library is a gemstone caverns. All right, float mana. Play new gemstones and see if we can hit an anger. It's a new Chandra. Can't play that, so we'll just pass the turn. Just finished TDD FNM with the red prison list you played last stream with one, two sideboard changes. It was only three rounds, but I almost had a perfect night. Yes, until Harden Scales. Deck feels very good. Nice. Harden Scales is a bit of a rough one because they can like super combo you off, but it's great to hear. Good to hear. All right, we got some cantripping with the Horizon Canopy using the Noble. We got an Aether Vial sitting at a sweet three. That's good for them. Looks like they're going to attack Chandra here for two points with Noble Hierarch. This is obviously getting under our bridge, which is frustrating, but hey, it's one way they can get around it. Top of the library for us is a, another Gemstone Caverns. We'll float mana again. See if we can hit an Anger. Anger? All right. We had a Magus of the Moon. Not the worst. Not the worst. It can get bounced to hand. If I didn't have these out here, I actually might not even consider this due to the Aether Vial on three. Reflector Mage kind of messes us up here a touch. I'll take a look at this a little bit later, Foreman. All right, what do we got here? We're cantripping all of these lands. Why do they keep Reflector Mage? They probably just don't have anything else that's better. All right, another two at Chandra. We're gonna get one more look here, needing a land, then I could try for Anger here. Can't play Magus. Pithing Needle's okay to see. I can look for Stomp now, so let's go for that. Hit the anger of the gods. No, no. Why? <laughs> All right, well, maybe I'll hit another one in the future. Pithy Needle for Aether Vial. All right, one of our four anger of the gods are gone. Noble Hierarchs are going to get in again. Stomp was about the only thing that would have saved us for a turn due to Thalia. Couldn't replay the Magus due to the Reflector Mage ability. In for two. All right, Chandra is gone. Goodbye. That being said, it's buying us quite a bit of time here, and it actually helped for us to find that Pithy Needle for that Aether Vial, so we're actually getting this sweet interaction we talk about. All right. Well, Magus down, go ahead, opponent. We do have that fourth land. 
I'd like to see one more. That way I can play everything in the library due to the Thalia. We'll see if we get lucky. So we have Aethervile on lockdown. We only have two nobles to worry about. This does give them all the mana that they need. We'll see if we can't get a victory here. Freaking nobles. <laughs> I won't block here because if I draw like a Simeon Spirit Guide, a couple of those, or a Bone Crusher Giant, I'll be able to get rid of these and eventually block them. So let's just hang tight here. No worries. That is uncastable. <laughs> Need that? I need that extra land here. Yeah, we should be pretty okay finding the land. Opponent finds a land. They didn't play anything previous turn, so I'm thinking they're just going to attack again here. The Chandra is immediately hitting down on a noble hierarch. Slow this down quite a bit. In for an additional two, we're at sixteen. Land. Chalice, huh? All right, well, I suppose we will put a chalice on one. This will stop future nobles. I can't put it on two. Phantasmal images can still show up. Aether Vial going nowhere. Looking for land, Chandra, Karn, Torporb. Probably in some order like that. When it continues to attack us for two, we're going to 14. That's a really good draw. <laughs> That's an exceptional draw. I'll take that every day, every day. Let's go ahead and remove this. We can remove the other noble hierarch out. Chandra, Thalia, getting there. Humans getting sidelined. Sweet. Looking pretty hot here tonight. We got one more match for us to go. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Grayus, be quiet. Shh. Shh. I told YouTube that Twitch is to blame. Go, final match. What are we gonna fight? What is the final boss? Twitch is always to blame. We get to play first, that's always good. Let's see what our starting seven is. Ugh, it's a Yorian list. Ah, not what I wanted to see, okay. Hmm, instant torpor them out. All right, we're gonna keep, we don't mind the chalice. Chalice can get interesting depending on what style of Urian list they are. Could be taxes, could be uh, ETB value stuff, could be all kinds of things. So we're just gonna take it easy here. Throw a chalice on one and see if they care about this. Sometimes they play cantrips or other things. Path to Exile isn't a bad thing to shut off here. We can play Season Pyromancer and probably just not worry about this desperate ritual. Hallowed Fountain's great to see here. It's a non-basic. Looking for our Maguses and Blood Moons. Misty. Looks like a lot of BTBs, like the Soul Herders. All right, Season Pyromancer, let's go ahead and get rid of a land plus Desperate Ritual. This might go find a breeding pool. Finds just a forest. We have a Remand. We have a Mana Leak. That's fine. You can Mana Leak Season Pyromancer all day. Go for it. Prismatic Vista, that finds basics. So far, no snow basics. Basic Island. Topia Sprawl counter. Good reason to have Chalice on one now. Let's see some Pyromancer again. Let's see if you got next Mana Leak, please. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, well, we're just going to bring Season Pyromancer tokens back and see if we can't win from there. Would really like to find Karn or Chandra at this point in the game. A lot of ETB things, so Torpor plus Bridge wouldn't be bad. A little bit worried about what my opponent could have in terms of like cryptic commands or ways to bounce a bridge. We're up to five mana here. Puts Yorian into hand. No surprises there. Season Pyromancer tokens. We can splice. We can make tons of mana. We can, or we can just do this. I'm going to just draw a land in a Chandra. You watch. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> Magus is basically the same thing. They'll go get a basic planes here. All right, no cryptics, so that's kind of good. It's kind of good. We got a we got a wide board. Are they just going to play Yorion and flicker Wall of Blossoms here? This could be the best. Up oh, cryptic mana is now there. Yeah, we're just, just going to slam out Yorian. All right. Cool. Flicker. Green mana open. Give me a cool top deck here. Chalice. On two. That should help us out a little bit in the future. And just send tokens in. Yeah, let's send Season Power Mancer in. Send it all in. They shouldn't worry here. No fear. Nice. All right, we get three in. They go to 12. What do you got for us now, opponent? Extra forest here. Lots and lots of mana. It's all back on defense. Play new Magus. Play new Blood Moon. <laughs> Such a pretty moon. It's going to get mana leaked. <laughs> Countered. We're doing pretty good. I'm hopeful. Oh, mana leaked into force. Nice. All right, we're just going to pass turn here. I've got to somehow get a little bit more around them. I wanted that Blood Moon to resolve so I could attack with some Maguses, but I don't feel safe enough to do that. I have so many moons. They don't feel safe to attack me either, which is a really good feeling. All right. Why not pitch the leak to force? Who knows? All right, I'm getting in for one damage here. It's solid one damage. Oh, I'm getting in for two. Nice. Nice. All right, we're going to bring back two season pyromancers here. A little bit afraid of like a restoration angel. Hmm. Cryptic command returns. Chalice on one. We have path. Uh oh. This is why I wanted the blood moon to resolve. There's the Blood Moon, and then there's the Angry Blood Moon. Pass me again. Where should I put this next Chalice? Five. <laughs> Uro. Oh, I could put it on three now. That'll stop Bridge and Blood Moon from being a thing. Field of the Ruin. gonna wait so I can get a season pyromancer out of the yard. Ooh, Chandra could kill something. Attack. Let's kill Yurian. Blocky blocky. I'm gonna try to kill Yurian here. They have two cards left. It's worth a shot here. 
Get out of here. I don't get the season pyromancers here, but that'll be okay. Get rid of the yard here as well. Feel the ruins, not anything special. Go ahead, opponent. Kind of like where we're at. Could be a lot worse. Pretty happy. They're just passing. That's that's a good sign. Up. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Chalice on two. Vomit. Dang it. That was such a punt. <laughs> Let's see here. One, two, three. Attempt Chalice on three for future Uros. Future Forces. Not Cryptics, though. Hey! Chalice resolves. I'm not playing Gemstone because I don't want them to get another land here. <sighs> You're one of these. I regret my Chalice on three. I regret it so much. No, I don't. I'm fine. Hmm. Do I have to get bridge here? I might have to get bridge and just win with Chandra. I could uptick on Chalice. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Hold on. We're not going to play bridge. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. We already did that once. <laughs> everyone having a fit. I'm going to offer them up a place for their field of ruin here. I'll get to Carning Chalice, maybe. Maybe I just go up with Chandra and go down one more time with Walking Ballista and finish my opponent here. These are options, too. Liquid Metal should have been a an easy draw, right? Opponent's making them zombies. Excuse me. Block, block. Get out of here, zombie. Come on, we gotta take a win here. Game one win against his opponent would be excellent. Dang. All right, so this is two. This puts a seven. Then I can put a walking ballista on four. All right, I'm going to go get the walking ballista as a potential win condition here. And then we're going to go up for two damage. It's the same as playing walking ballista. New Karn would have been nice, but nope. Just gonna try to put a walking ballista as a 4-4 here. See if they have a counter or a path or anything like that. We could, we could. Uses Field of the Dead or Field of the Ruin to get another zombie. So everyone's saying that we should maybe like uptick on the chalice on three. There's a lot of things my opponent could potentially play at three, too. It's probably not something I want to be doing, right? Karn's a scary or uh, cryptic scary. I think we're gonna lose Karn here. All right. I'm just going to let all this happen because I'm not very interested in <laughs> Karn, keeping Karn around in any fashion. Supreme Verdicts. So we're going to do four upstairs. This puts my opponent to three. We have several outs here. So down to three, Supreme Verdict completes. Two upticks with Chandra would do it. Utopia Sprawl is not gonna do it for them. 
We were thinking about it and we changed our mind. Uptick for two damage. New Chandra's a no-go. Good luck, opponent. Field. Oh, please let me take game one here. Woo! All right, so some questions about the bridge there. Some of our intention was to uptick on Chalice. We had the Walking Blister. There wasn't really, if, you, if you're really honest, there's not really anything in our sideboard that really matters here for what we were doing. Maybe Darksteel Citadel into Karn. The other thing you can do is you can grab a bridge and go, hey, I'm going to play to this Chalice. Maybe play mind games with your opponent. Anyway, all right. This is the Rabble Master and the Boil matchup. There's no other options here. Chalice actually did a lot, which is kind of interesting. Angers can come out here. I can take out an extra bridge. And although Chalice did a lot of work there, I think I want to take one out. I don't want Pithy Needles here. I need to leave the Tor uh, Tormod's Crypt in the yard, in the, in the sideboard. Oh no. Oh no. Someone mentioned the record. That's not good. That's not good. What have we done? Delete message. I can't delete it. I saw it. I saw the message. It's all over. We have a turn one blood moon followed by rabble masters. If we don't win it here, we would never, we were never going to win it. Do we keep both Rabble Masters or not? That is the question. That is the question. They're going to force me. Do I just go two Rabble Masters here? Turn one Rabble Master, turn two Rabble Master. Ditch the Blood Moon. Man. Let's keep this. Goodbye, Blood Moon. Rabble Master, prove to me why you belong in our sideboard. This is your chance. Here we go. Here we go. Rabble Master, prove to me. Why do you belong here? Combat. In for one. No path. Let's dodge a mana leak. Let's go. Mystic Sanctuary. Oh my gosh, I've got the Blood Moon to follow all of this. Rabble Master number two. Swing, my pretties. Swing. Too fast for Supreme Verdict. What do you got, opponent? Are we going for a turn three? Are we done? That's what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> Get them. Easy mode right there. Doubling down on Rabble Master. Everything belongs in the deck. There you have it. 5 0 Red Prison getting it done. Seven Moon variation. In modern, not jinxed. Close though. We deleted the message and it worked. We deleted it, we looked away for a moment, and we got there. Blood Moon is playing very well in modern so far, and Chalice itself is very strong as well. That last match was definitely not a great one, and it was exceptionally good that we got to do the game one wins. What's up? We did it. Let's go. Idol Cloud, Chef's Kiss indeed. Wookie Wasabi, we did it. Grayus, Matt Eagle, Handsome, Angel Opportunity. It was fast, it was. Foreman Red, we got there. DB's here. Luca, Luca, it was, it was close. Freedy, it was nice, wasn't it? We got there. What's up, Scorpion God? 5-0, Red Prison. A Braid came in in a match. Rabble Master came in in a match, Anger of the Gods, the Boils, Walking Ballista, and Snaring Bridge, everything but Damping Sphere was played. Even the Dark Steel Citadel, and I would not take that Damping Sphere out? Nope. Red Prison, the 5-0. I got an emote. Woo!
Ooh, thanks. I got the little bear in the box. That's perfect. It's a surprise. Angel opportunity. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Or no, just the Prime. To get off your butt and down. Some more Pop Tarts, Fluffy. Congrats, Fluffy 35. Panic, Fluffy 35. <laughs> Agro seems good. Freaking stupid. Uncle DB, thank you so much for that. 1,000 bits. Clearly, I need to just stop fooling around and just play Red Prison all the time, people. <laughs> 